está bueno. Lo dejo por si quieres. Y el pan. Un pan.
What's going on, Paola? What's going on, Paola? Nobody's here. I'm here. Hey, Enrique, how are you? Hello. Hey, what's going on, Enrique? How you doing today? I'm very fine. All right, awesome. Yeah, nobody had connected. I was thinking to myself, maybe because of the rain. Is it raining where you live? Yes, it's raining hard here. Where do you live? I live in Mexicanos. Oh, okay, okay. I used to live over there by La Meller. Are you familiar with La Meller? Yes, I know from that place. Oh, okay, okay. So I used to live close to that place. And uh, how long have you lived in Mexicanos? Uh, three years approximately. Oh, okay, okay. And do you have family that lives near? Only, only my grandmother. She lives. Oh. She lives in in Sacamil. Mm. Oh, okay, okay. And what about your family? Your mom, your dad, your brothers, your sisters? I live with her. With 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 her. Oh, you live with your mom. Yes, and my father and my brother. Oh, okay. Cool, cool. Awesome. Hello, Marvin. Is it raining where you live? Hello, teacher. Hello, Enrique. Hey. No, teacher. No, it's not raining. Oh, okay. Where do you live? I live in Santa Ana, Candelaria de la Frontera. Oh, okay, okay. That's kind of far away. Okay. It's not yes. raining over there? No, it's not raining. It's, it's calm. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah, nice. Uh, here where I live, it is it is kind of raining. Uh, there's a lot of lightning, wow. electricity. Right now, I am out of the house in the backyard uh, watching the stars on the sky. Wow, what a yeah. good, what a life, what yeah. a life. The life of the rich and famous. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. That's so cool. All right. All right. Let's go ahead and move forward, guys. I would like for you to tell me a little bit about what you remember from the previous class. 
what information do you remember from the previous class? Hi, Ivania. Hello, teacher. Hi, is it raining where you live? Yes, it's raining. Okay, so it's raining I everywhere. I didn't have connection. Yeah, a lot of students are not here because of the same situation. Yeah. That's that's understandable. There's there's nothing wrong with that. All right, we're going to go ahead and refresh, guys. Can everybody see my screen? Yes. Okay, let's refresh. In the main clause. Can you hear the audio? I'm lucky I can get by on yes, six teacher. hours of sleep. Okay. Considering that most people need eight. As long as introduces a condition in the main clause. Hello, even if, as long as, unless, are examples of clauses stating reason and condition. Stay with us for the explanation. Clauses stating reasons and conditions. I will group them for you in the following ways. Considering that introduces another clause of reason, as long as, even if, unless, and only if introduce another clause of condition, just in case, or in case, also introduces another clause of condition. It is used when an undesirable circumstance or condition needs to be taken into account, but the condition is considered very unlikely to happen. Now let's go over the following chart. Clauses stating reasons and conditions. Even if introduces a condition that does not influence the main clause, I sometimes lie awake at night even if I'm really tired. Considering that introduces causes and reasons that explain the main clause. I'm lucky I can get by on six hours of sleep, considering that most people need eight, as long as introduces a condition on which the main clause depends. I can manage on five hours of sleep, as long as I take a nap during the day. Unless introduces something that must happen in order to avoid a consequence. Unless I get a good night's sleep, I can easily fall asleep at school, at work, or even while driving. Just in case, or in case, introduces an undesirable circumstance that needs to be taken into account. I always set two alarm clocks just in case one of them doesn't go off or I always set two alarm clocks in case one of them doesn't go off only if introduces a condition that must be met for the main clause to be true I only wake up early if I have somewhere to be in the morning complete the following sentences with information about yourself then share them in class. All right, we're going to repeat one more time. Hello. Even if, as long as, unless, our exam. Please take notes. Clauses are stating reasons and conditions. I will group them for you in the following ways. Considering that introduces another clause of reason, as long as, even if, unless, and only if introduce another clause of condition, just in case, or in case, also introduces another clause of condition. It is used when an undesirable circumstance or condition needs to be taken into account, 
but the condition is considered very unlikely to happen. Now let's go over the following chart. Clauses stating reasons and conditions. Even if introduces a condition that does not influence the main clause, I sometimes lie awake at night even if I'm really tired. Considering that introduces causes and reasons that explain the main clause. I'm lucky I can get by on six hours of sleep, considering that most people need eight. As long as introduces a condition on which the main clause depends. I can manage on five hours of sleep, as long as I take a nap during the day. Unless introduces something that must happen in order to avoid a consequence. Unless I get a good night's sleep, I can easily fall asleep at school, at work, or even while driving. Just in case, or in case, introduces an undesirable circumstance that needs to be taken into account. I always set two alarm clocks, just in case one of them doesn't go off. Or, I always set two alarm clocks in case one of them doesn't go off. Only if introduces a condition that must be met for the main clause to be true. I only wake up early if I have somewhere to be in the morning. Complete the following sentences with information about yourself. Then, share them in class. Right, at this moment, do you have any questions referring to this information? Okay, that was a little review. If you don't have any questions, then we can move forward. Questions at this moment? Anybody? Somebody? Okay, we're going to look at section 4.7. Instructions, read the sentences and match the clauses to make sentences. The first one says, drivers can fall asleep on the highway. Can I have one volunteer? Enrique, Unless. Enrique. Unless they rest before long trips. Perfect. Marvin, number two. All right, Mirna. Uh, hello, teacher. Hi. As long as you have the boss, okay? I Perfect. Can... As long as you have the bosses, okay. Thank you. Uh, Zulma, number three. Some people can just get to sleep unless they take a bath before bed. Perfect. Some people can't just get to sleep unless they take a bath before bed. That's my situation. I always have to take a bath before I go to bed. If not, I don't feel good. Uh, let me have Hana Pineda, number four. Wait, 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 wait. Yes, of course. Which number is four? Number, I yes, of course. Number four. Or what? Can somebody help Anna, please? Me, teacher. Yes, Zulma. Number four, I was surprisingly alert at work, considering that I didn't sleep 
but oh last night excellent that is correct ivania number five Night owls hate to wake up early, even if it is a beautiful morning. Perfect. Thank you. Number six. Let me have Mirna. Number six. Mirna. Um, only drink hot milk before bed. Uh, if I I am have having trouble sleeping. <laughs> me too i eat warm milk and cookies and then i sleep like a baby <laughs> it's a secret all right anybody have any questions in regards to this section okay Let's go ahead and start 4.8, listening, mm -hmm. listening. Okay. Listen to Kate and Sergio Can everybody talk about hear? their recurring dreams. Whose yeah. dream yes. do you think is scarier? Hey, Sergio, do you ever have recurring dreams? Yeah, sure. Why, Kate? Well, I had one last night. I'm back in high school, and in my dream, the school looks mostly the same as it did, but much bigger. The weird thing is, although I'm 23 years old, I'm back in high school with all these 15-year-olds. It's very embarrassing. No one seems to notice that I'm much older and shouldn't be there in the first place, but still, it's very uncomfortable. I keep thinking, what am I doing here? Well. I know it must be the end of the school year because everyone is talking about final exams. And that's when it hits me that I've forgotten to go to math class all year. And there's a big math test today. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah, I'm totally unprepared. So I start to go to class, but then I realize I can't find it. No matter how far, how many hallways, I just can't find it. I know I'm late for class and this really worries me. Finally, I wind up in my math class, but it's almost over, so I've missed most of the test, and I think I'm going to fail or something. Basically, that's the dream. That's a bad one. Do you have that dream a lot? Sometimes. I guess it means that I'm worried or overwhelmed about something that is happening in my life. Yeah, I sometimes have this bad dream. I guess it's really a nightmare. I'm in danger, but I'm not sure from what, and I can't move or scream or anything. I can feel something coming closer and closer to me. You know, it's really strange, because usually in the dream, I'm exactly where I am in real life, like in my own bed, in my bedroom, and everything is very realistic. The only part that is dreamlike is that I can't move. Sometimes I can't even open my eyes, or I can only open one eye. Usually I have to alert someone or possibly save someone, although the person often changes. Anyway, I can't do anything because I can't move. It's really terrifying. Yeah, it sounds terrifying. So what do you think it means? I'm not sure, but you know, I think the dream means that I'm feeling there's something in my life that I can't control, although I feel like I should be able to. Once I had the dream when one of my friends was very sick and I just felt completely helpless. I hate feeling that way. Yeah, I know what you mean. Okay. Now on this activity, what you are going to do is listen to Kate and Sergio talk about their recurring dreams. Whose dream do you think is scarier? Type your answers using just the name of the people mentioned. At this moment, do you have any questions about the vocabulary or the pronunciation of the words? No. All right. You will have five minutes to work in pairs and complete the activity 
and then we will check together. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yes. 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 Okay, let's do it. Uh, guys, tomorrow we have class. Thank you. I am from the cell because I have uh, internet connections, problems, problems. Okay. Yeah. Can you see my screen? Yeah. Hello, guys. Hello, Roxana. I I I am late. Sorry. No, it's okay. It's a listening exercise. Four point eight. Yes. yes. Okay. Are we going to to listen or only check the 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 answer? I don't know what is what. Where? What do you want to do? For me, it's not problem if you can if if, if we're here the listening. Okay. I don't know. Okay, Enrique, maybe. You can put the audio. Can you listen? I can't, I can hear the audio. I cannot hear. And of the okay. yes yeah uh, and where do you exactly live uh near of the in the guys guys oh yeah do you know report it tomorrow mm -hmm. maybe tomorrow um, we'll see that it it's it it is um like making uh giving me a mistake and i can't complete i have around 94 in the final in the final exam score uh -huh. yes 90 yes 94 percent and mm -hmm. i want to have the 100 right <laughs> well I see me too so we mm -hmm. can practice the reading another time the the sentences maybe okay okay you, you can start. start okay whose dream is do you think is scarier kate okay number number one in the second part Mm -hmm. Feels in danger, can't move or do anything. Sergio. Mm -hmm. Back in high school, has to take a test and is not prepared for it. Kate. Yes. Whose dream means? Number three. Feeling overwhelmed, 
all very well. Do you know how it? What is the right pronunciation for this? Overwhelmed. This word? Overwhelmed. Overwhelmed. Uh, overwhelmed. Okay. Feeling overwhelmed or worried about about something. Kate. Okay. Uh -huh. There is something in life that cannot be controlled but should be able to serve you. Have you ever had an experience? Hello, Zulma. Hello, teacher. Hi. Do you are you finished with the activity? Yes. Okay. Let's go ahead and check. Can you give me the answer for number one? Okay. Number one is Sergio. Sergio. Excellent. Marvin colleagues, number one. Feels in danger, can't move or do anything. Hey, Sergio. Sergio. All right, Ana Pineda, number mm -hmm. two. Number two, back in school, has to take a test and is not prepared for it. Kate. Kate. All right, the next one, Ivania, number three. Feeling overwhelming or worry about something. Uh, it's Kate. Kate, awesome. Repeat after me. Overwhelmed. Over. Overwhelmed. Overwhelmed with a D at the end. Overwhelmed. Overwhelmed. That's right. Excellent. Enrique, number four. There is something in life that can that cannot be controlled, but she'll be able to. Sergio. Sergio, excellent. Teacher, the meaning of that word is similar to worry. Uh, overwhelmed. Yeah. No, overwhelmed is like when something is too much for you. Oh, okay. You say, oh, my God, this is overwhelming. Okay. Uh-huh. Excellent. Another question referring to this information. Anybody else have another question referring to this information? Somebody? No, teacher. No, okay. Teacher. That's okay. Let's go ahead and look at the following one which is going to be the reading section. The reading section is to sleep or not to sleep. That is the question, to sleep or not to sleep. <laughs> or like Shakespeare said, to be or not to be. <laughs> Are you familiar with William Shakespeare? Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, so they're like to be or not to be, sleep or not to sleep. All right, so on this section, I would like for us to uh, read the text. I would like for you to do it in pairs. Uh, after that, you are going to uh, read it as a class, and then we are going to check uh, the exercise. Uh, I would like for you to listen and repeat, and then you will practice in pairs. Repeat, to sleep or not to sleep? To sleep or not to sleep. or not to sleep. In the days before electricity. In the days before electricity. People didn't worry much about sleep. They usually went to bed a couple of hours after sunset. 
They usually, usually went to bed a couple of hours, hours after, after sunset. sunset and woke up at sunrise. And, and woke, woke up, up at sunrise. sunrise. After all, there wasn't much to do in those days. After, After all, all, there wasn't much to do, to do in those days. After the sun went down. After, After the sun, the sun went, down. went down. But then came the electric light bulb. But then came, came, the, came the electric the light, light bulb. bulb. Light bulb. And now we have satellite television. And now we have satellite television. The internet, 24-hour convenience stores, and longer hours at work. The internet, 24-hour internet, 24 hour convenience stores, and longer hours at work. How much can we sleep? How much, How much should we sleep? We How much How can, can we sleep? sleep? How much How can much we sleep? sleep? Like it or not. Like, like, it, or like it or not. not. Like it or not. Many of us are sleeping less on average. Many, Many of us are sleeping less on average. average. In 1910, in 1910, most Americans slept nine hours a night. Most Americans slept nine hours a night. That dropped to 7.5 hours by 1975. That drop to 7.5 hours by 1975. In 2002, in 2002, a study by the National Sleep Foundation, a study by the National Sleep Foundation, fund that the average American got only 6.9 hours. Found that the average, the average American, American got only 6.9 hours. 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 But they make more money. So, okay, what do you want to do? You want money or you want to sleep? Obviously, <laughs> you know, <laughs> right? I mean, that's just the way it is. Very simple. Eh, hay un dicho que dice, eh, duerme, duerme como pobre y trabaja como rico. No. No. Duerme como pobre y... No, no, no. ¿Cómo era? Trabaja como pobre y duerme como... No. I can't remember. But it's something like that, right? You gotta, you gotta sacrifice something. Um, I agree with this uh, a little bit. Uh, however, not completely. Let me tell you why. Um, there are ways to make money while you are sleeping. What kind wow. of... Tell me about. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Tell me there, more. <laughs> yeah, there. I mean, there are ways that you can multiply your money while you are sleeping. Okay. Um, through various investments. There are, nowadays, there are so many different ways that you can multiply your money uh, without doing anything. Okay. If you wanna, if you wanna ask me questions about that, you can write me privately, and I can show you uh, different ways that I use to make my money grow without working. Really? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is possible from El Salvador. But believe me, this is not a, this, 
what I know it's not free information because I lost money before. So in order to know or in order to understand what companies are real and what companies are scammers, you have to play, right? You have to play, you have to play the game. So I have invested before in companies that scam me. I lost my money completely, never saw it again. But now I have the ability to look at a profile, look at a company, look at their website, look at how they work, look at their processes and say, mm, this company is a scam or, oh, okay, this company is legit, right? You get experience as time goes by and obviously you have to invest money and that's how you learn, right? So I always- uh, Are you talking about Bitcoin, teacher? <laughs> About what? Bitcoin. Uh, Bitcoin is it's part of the of the ways that you can earn money passively, but I'm not talking about that. Okay. I'm, I'm talking about more something more secure, something more tangible. Uh -huh, yes. uh -huh, something more. Yeah, I'm not going to put my money there now uh, because I, I really don't see it doing something now. I, I do something different. Okay. Uh huh. Yeah, but there are ways, guys, and I'm telling you because I am doing it. Okay. okay. Let's continue. Where were we? Uh, I was losing us uh, so nine hours. Okay. American got only six point nine hours. Repeat. The news is even worse. The news is even worse. The news is even worse. For people who work the night shift. For people, For people who work, work the night, night, shift. night shift. They sleep an average. They, they sleep, sleep an average, average. Of just five hours. Of just, just five, five hours. hours. Now, do you think that's a good life? No. Hell no. That is not yes. a good life. That is not a good life. You know? Do you know what a good life is? A good life is waking up when you're ready, when mm -hmm. you feel like it. Yes. Eat. Maybe exercise. Meditate. Pray, read the Bible, whatever you like, and then start working. Then 12 o'clock, lunchtime, take a nap. Wake up, go back to work. Five o'clock, go play basketball, go swimming, go to the park, go for an ice cream, right? That's a, that's a good life. When you have the freedom to do those yes. things, okay? And you can do it. With English, you can do it. Real estate, you can do it. All right, let's continue. Repeat, are we sleeping enough? Are we, we sleeping, sleeping enough? enough? enough. Not if you believe in the old formula of eight hours of rest. No, Not if you believe in the old formula of eight hours of rest. Eight hours of, eight rest. Hours of work. Eight hours of work. And eight hours of play. And eight hours of play. On the other hand, on the, on the other, other hand, hand, Norman Stanley, Norman Norman Stanley, Stanley a British scientist, a British, a British scientist, scientist who studies sleep, who studies sleep, sleep believes people's sleep, believes people's sleep, sleep needs 
very. What does that mean? That means that maybe for one person, five hours of sleep is enough. Okay. For example, in my case, uh, I sleep, let's say, 11 or 12, 12 to 1, 1 or 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, 4 to 5, 5 to 6. I sleep, let's say, six hours, right? I'm good. I wake up, 5 a.m., take care of my business. Then around 12.30, boom, I take a nap. 12.30 to 1.30, I am sleeping like a baby. I wake up 1.30, and then I'm good to go until 11 o'clock. But I need that one hour in the afternoon to replenish my energy. And then after that, I can be awake and alert and energetic until 11 p.m. So for somebody else, that's not acceptable. For somebody else, they need to sleep eight hours. They need to sleep from 10 a.m., 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. or 8 a.m. If not, they can function, right? Other people only need five hours of sleep and they can work all day like nothing. So everybody is different. There's a variety. People's sleep needs vary. That means that everybody's necessities is different. Continue. Some people need some people, some people, people need, need as many as 11 hours. As, as many as many as, many as, as hours. Ah, okay, okay. Ya me acordé del refrán. Hay aquellos que duermen como ricos y trabajan como pobres. ¿Cómo es? No creo. No me sale. No me sale, es que no me sale. Es algo así como que hay gente que creo duerme. Que y viven como pobres. No, duermen duerme. como ricos y viven como pobres. Ajá, uh -huh, something like that, something like that. I don't know. I don't know, but y es como... que duermen como pobres y viven como ricos. Duermen como pobres y viven como ricos. Ah, esa es. Hay que unos que duermen como pobres y viven como ricos. Ah, that's it. Algo así, por ahí va la cosa. La gente madruga como pobre. La gente ah. pobre duerme como si fuera rica. Ah, ¿cómo fue? ¿Cómo fue? La gente rica madruga como si fuera pobre. Y la gente pobre duerme como si fuera rica. Ese, ese es. Lo voy a escribir que siempre se me olvida. Ok. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, ding, ding. ding, 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 ding. Ok, la gente. Hold on, hold on. La gente. Rica madruga como si fuera pobre. Rica la madruga. madruga. Yeah. Como <risa> si fuera pobre y la gente pobre duerme como si fuera rica esa la voy a imprimir cabal aquí en mi puerta yeah yo 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 sigo esa filosofía yo la sigo al 100% cuando yo veo gente así yo me alejo de esa gente me alejo lo más pronto posible porque esos hábitos son pegajosos. And I can't do it. I need a lot of money. Okay, are you ready to continue? Yes. Okay. But others need as few as three. But, but others, others need uh, as few as three. How much do you really need? How much do you really need? To find out, he says. To find, to find out, out, he says. Yes. Simply sleep until you wake up naturally. 
simply live until you wake up naturally. Without the help, without the help, the help of an alarm clock. Of an alarm, of an alarm, 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 alarm clock. clock. That's your sleep need. That's, That's your, your sleep, sleep need. need. Okay. Oh. Yeah, right. Tell that to my my bills. <laughs> <laughs> Say that to my bills. Yeah, right. Okay, repeat. Meanwhile, meanwhile, meanwhile other scientists, other scientists, scientists and pharmaceutical researchers and pharmaceutical are searching for are searching for new ways new ways new ways to keep us awake longer to keep, keep us, us awake, awake longer. longer some are developing chemicals some, some are developing chemicals, chemicals. That are safer, that are are safer, safer, are safer and more powerful, and more powerful, powerful than caffeine. Than than caffeine. caffeine. <laughs> Have you guys ever heard of a supplement called hydroxycut? No. Oh. No, oh my God! This is a fat burner. Hydrox. Cut hydroxy cut. I was drinking this fat burner uh, like maybe a couple of years ago. You know, I, I am very, I like fitness a lot. So, you know, I buy products for fitness. So I bought this hydroxy cut. It was supposed to be like the top notch on the market in the United States. This pill was like a caffeine overdose. You know what I'm talking about? It's like, yes. like somebody punch you in the face with caffeine, like <laughs> Like you're walking around like a robot, like, like, <laughs> oh my God. Oh, I could only drink this supplement one month and then I quit because my heart was like, doom, 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 doom. <laughs> <laughs> like serious. This, I, I mean, I lost weight. I lost a lot of weight because I could I could run for one hour nonstop, you know. It's then dangerous. It's very dangerous, man. It's, caffeine is a dangerous drug. Caffeine is a very very dangerous drug. Okay, guys, it's almost time to go. Uh, I would like for you to work in pairs on this activity, uh, so that we can go ahead and check it before we go. So let's finish it. In pairs, do it, and then we check it together. Okay. okay. We uh we compare answers. Yeah, but you have the you you want to share your screen. Okay. To continue your reading. Okay. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Can you see? Uh, yes, I see it. 
Okay. We have to finish to read. Yeah, yeah. From? Uh, can you can you make it more? Okay, more, a little bit more. More. Meanwhile. Yeah. Meanwhile, other scientists and pharmaceutical research are researching for new ways to keep uh, us away longer. Some are developing chemicals are the the are safer and more powerful than caffeine, the chemical found in coffee and tea. One experimental drug. drug CX seven six hundred seventy. Keep laboratory monkeys working happily, healthily, and accurately for 30, 36 hours. You continue. Okay, okay. Future breaking hours may allow people to safely stay awake for several days. Straits one group of researchers is studying a gene found in some fruits files that lets them get by one by on one third the usual amount of sleep. Another group is even working on an electric switch that instantly wakes up and sleep brain sleeping brain the implication of this research are huge of the one hand this could lead to a work where we work longer and longer hours with less and less sleep on the other hand if we need leave less sleep we will have more free time to travel with volunteer and spend time with family. To sleep or not sleep, then maybe may soon be the question. Okay, we finished. Okay. Can you see the script? Yes, I see it. How much does on average American sleep? Uh, yeah, uh, six point point nine hours. Okay. Number second, to know exactly how much hours of sleep we need, we need to wake up naturally. Okay. What change the way we sleep? Electricity. In which animal are scientists experimenting on? On monkeys. <laughs> if we need, need less sleep, we will have more time to? Probably real spend time with family. Okay. Yeah, that's important. Almost finished the class. Oh, what time is it? Oh, yeah, it's almost finished. Yes. Yeah. It's raining. It's raining. No, finish. Finish the uh, rain. Okay. Do you have dogs? Yes. <laughs> uh, I can hear them. Yes. Um, it's noisy there, here. Uh, it's her. Yes. Um. You send your information about the next level? Um, no, not yet because I have not received the, the information because uh, in this level, uh, they send in a chat. Um, 
to All right, Zulma, how much does an average American sleep? 6.9 hours. 6.9 hours is correct. Did you finish the activity? Yes. Okay, let's wait for everybody to come back. At this moment, do you have any questions? I have a question, but it is not about the class. Mm -hmm. uh, I have received a message in, in my email about we are going to stop the curse because we don't have um, becas. They don't have becas. Scholarships. Uh, yeah, scholarships. Uh -huh. Yeah. But I don't know if only it is for me or for all the curves no everybody everybody even oh. for me even for me they're going to put oh. me they're going to put me in a different program um, okay yeah but that's normal that's normal that happens every year uh remember that every year insa forp executes a specific amount of scholarships and they have to execute those scholarships in a specific time frame. So, okay. uh huh. Usually, it takes two months, three months, for the process of the new scholarships for the new year. And then, once we start uh, the scholarships again, we're gonna continue until next year. Okay. Okay. Thank that's you. how. That's how you usually that works. Okay. Any questions, guys? Okay, let's check the activity and we go. Number two, to know exactly how much how much hours of sleep we need, we need to wake up naturally. Wake up naturally. Wake up naturally. What changed the way we sleep? It's electricity. 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 <laughs> and internet. <laughs> Both. Yeah. Both. Yeah. Yes. In which animals are scientists experimenting on? Monkeys. 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 If we need less sleep, we should have more time to? Travel. 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 Good time with family. Time with family. Um, Excellent. Yay. And we are finished. Congratulations. Ding, ding, ding. ding. <laughs> All right, guys. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. 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 See you. Bye. Bye. Good night. Good night.